What's up, guys? I'm Chris. Welcome to PHP Engines. This is actually uh, part two of my little micro videos I'm doing right now. Um, the reason why I think this is important enough to, um, to talk about is because when talking to a sub earlier, uh, before I fuck up, I'm fairly certain it was Carlos. Let me double check real quick. Yep, Carlos Garcia. Anyway, talking to him, and he ran into a problem that I ran into when I was building my suicide block. Uh, the suicide block is the car, the engine I now have in my Integra. For some of you guys that are new and don't know, I actually did make a playlist for the Integra that you guys just don't know about because I hardly ever update it because I haven't been working on it. <laughs> anyway, um, the thing is here, and the reason why I think this is so important is because uh, I ran into the issue and I initially thought, well, fuck, you know, I'm going to lose this block. And then I just, you know, because I don't like to throw shit away, uh, I really took a good look at it and saw what was going on, and I figured I can fix this. And I was able to fix it. And I was able to tell him that he could fix his shit. His shit is nowhere near as bad as mine was. And uh, because I because uh, I don't feel like editing this video and extending the fuck out of the process of this upload, um, I'm just going to use that picture as a thumbnail for this. And I will also redirect you to my Instagram because it's there as well. And I will even reshare the fucking the picture on Facebook for those of you guys who just don't want to look on Instagram for whatever reason. Um, anyway, the whole thing I'm talking about here is uh, the tunnel that leads to the little tunnel that leads from the block to your um, oil pressure sensor. Uh, now, if you notice, if you take a look at that, you'll notice that the, uh, the, the it's a piece that kind of comes off the block. Like this is the block, and then it, it kind of runs out for a good ways. Um, and then it stops, of course. Now, the oil pressure sensor, the, the, the part that actually threads into the block is about yay long. Um, but if you look in your tunnel, those threads go deep into the block. Now, what had happened with mine is uh, when I was stripping it down, I noticed that it was kind of cracked where the sensor was. And uh, when I went to go, you know, remove that, when I was cleaning, it broke. Like broke off. And I was like, fuck, I just lost this block. And, uh, you know, so I started to peek around and shit, and I seen how deep the threads were, and it didn't look like any of the damage was spider webbing through the block or anything. It just, that chunk that came off. So I got uh, that extended fitting, and I threaded it right on into that hole. And it worked. I mean, it's it threaded in tight, no more breakage, good to go. Um, and that's the same, you know, same reaction that I initially had was the same initial uh, idea that Carlos here ran into was, fuck, I'm done. I got to toss this block. I got to buy another block. I got to start all over again. And fortunately, that is not the case. So in the likelihood of anybody else running into this, you know, is, you know, it's kind of slim, I think, because I've went through a lot of engines. I've never, ever had that problem except for that one time. Never, ever heard of anybody else describing that problem until Carlos had it. But in the off chance that somebody does run into an issue, you know, now you have this to know that that block doesn't necessarily have to be chucked. All right. So anyway, you guys, um, I appreciate it. Thumbs up on the video if you got anything out of it. Um, if you're new here and you haven't heard me say this before, all my social media links are in the description below. Just in case y'all want to hit me up on a more personal side. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention the other video that, yeah, I do do kind of common updates and shit like that with Facebook I do uh, you know let people know what's going on with the channel when I'm going to be posting a video sometimes when I'm going to do live streams shit like that also I'm really active on Snapchat nowadays as a matter of fact a lot of the videos I've uploaded recently from Snapchat have been like three minutes fucking long apparently you guys can watch me talk on here for like 15 minutes but if I talk on Chapsnet or <laughs> Snapchat you can't listen to me talk for more than for more than a minute <laughs> Anyway, if you are interested in that, if you want to have a more personal following for me, Snapchat's the way to go because everybody who adds me there gets a follow back. And I do peek in on your shit as long as I see car stuff. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and peace. Have a nice day.